human trafficking a constant concern and one getting increased attention um, the signage you see there on the screen certain establishments are going to be required to post signs containing that information about the National Human Trafficking Resource Hotline. These include some of the facilities most likely to encounter victims. They include hospitals, adult establishments, ABC permit holders, you know bars, and rest stops. Even so, there's no identified criminal penalty for a failure to post this signage at this time. But hopefully most of them will recognize the need and comply, particularly the hospitals and rest stops. As noted, certain homicides where it involves domestic violence can be upgraded to either first or second degree murder and that such situation will consult with the DA's office as needed. There's also a change to 14-17b2 which provides that persons responsible for death following unlawful distribution of drugs such as cocaine or meth can be charged when a death results. That has been amended to include for distribution of opiates and depressants. The General Assembly has enacted the STOP Act uh, containing several provisions intended to reduce the abuse of opiates. Most of those aimed at the healthcare practitioners who prescribe meds and the pharmacists who dispense it. It involves creating databases the docs can go to to see if somebody is doc shopping for multiple scripts. Same for the pharmacist as well as the obligation to get positive IDs that can go to a database. One thing that they want to make sure law enforcement's aware of is the ability to issue standing orders, prescriptions really, to allow those people to have Narcan. As you know, at least I hope you do, we have deployed that throughout both the law enforcement and detention facility. Alright, changes to the drug schedules, yeah, I'm not going to worry this issue, SACNARC will be on it. And don't ask me how this one didn't get seen the first time, but now first degree statutory rape has been added to the list of sexually violent offenses for purposes of the sex offender registry. And this was backdated to apply to registration obligations. That obligation to register occurring on or after December 1st, 2015. All right, electric assisted bicycles. They are now classified as not motor vehicles. So while the drunks have lost the moped, this is your new liquor sickle. They can have two or three wheels, a seat or saddle, pedals for human propulsion, and an electric motor of no more than 750 watts, and a maximum speed of not more than 20 miles per hour on a level surface when powered solely by the motor. If you can get faster going downhill, God bless. Autonomous cars. We have some basic rules established 
General Statute 20-400-403. As you can see, we're waiting for regulations to come out. When they do, we will let you know. Of course, after what's happened with some of those autonomous cars, particularly in Arizona, maybe not so soon. Now, platoon vehicles. General Statute 20-152 prohibits drivers from following another vehicle too closely. However, there's been an exception made for the driver of any non-leading commercial motor vehicle driving in a platoon on a roadway where DOT has authorized travel by platoon, which means a group of individual vehicles traveling at close following distance in a unified manner, and here's the big one, through the use of an electronically interconnected braking system so that the brakes are synchronized and that safe traveling distance they've decided can be compressed. Drones! Everybody wants one, including me, just in case anybody was wondering what to do for my upcoming birthday. 15A303 has been added, prohibiting the use of an unmanned aircraft, a drone, within 500 horizontal feet or a vertical distance of 250 feet of a jail, state prison, or federal prison. Are there exceptions? Of course. Wouldn't be a law without exceptions. The first one is permission from the facility. And in fact, just last month we had somebody seeking permission from the detention facility to operate a drone on an adjacent property over here at the Venable Center. Which, when you look at the parking lot behind the detention facility, would have fallen within that 500 foot limit. There are of course various levels based on the intent and the device's use, such as if it's being used to bring in contraband. And of course provides for the seizure of the device and any contraband if the device is misused. Hunting on Sundays is now allowed for certain types of hunting on certain lands subject to rules being established by the Wildlife Resources Commission. All right, gang laws. There has been efforts made to standardize the definitions of gangs and gang activity. And the statute lists several criteria for determining if a suspect qualifies as a
And as you know, one thing that is a given every year, we're going to ratchet up on school bus stoppage. Counties may now adopt ordinances allowing for civil enforcement of 20-2017, the law prohibiting a past, passing a stop school bus. Now, if a county wants to do this, the county would install and operate cameras on the school buses and then send citizen citations for violations, but only after law enforcement has confirmed that they have reviewed the footage and seen a violation. The county could then essentially impose a civil penalty for passing the stop school bus and that would be appealable in district court. Punishment or fines only, no impact on driver's license or insurance. Um, and if this occurs, it is in lieu of a criminal prosecution. At the same time, they could still decide to do the criminal prosecution, but then they would have to return any civil fines that had been levied and collected. So the criminal would control, but you only get to do one or the other. And video pictures captured by the school bus camera showing a violation would have to be turned over to law enforcement for false criminal prosecution course as we've already discussed they're already warning law enforcement to review that footage to confirm the violation all right hearing impaired license the hearing impaired can now get an annotation placed on their driver's license indicating their status And this is intended so that if you run a plate, you run a license, you might understand the person doesn't hear you, doesn't pull over as quickly as they perhaps should. And also that you're going to need to access services to ensure positive communications with that motorist. Expect training from from training and standards to be coming forth in the near future.